Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Proudly representing Liverpool, England also has some roots in Brazil. Here is Darren Till looking to preserve his spot as welterweight contender here tonight. Darren Till is a phenomenal fighter, a guy that's willing to fight anybody. The interview where he's in the octagon, he says, just line them up, I'll find them all. Yeah. I will fight each and every one of them. Darren Till has that quality about him that just draws you in. But what ultimately gets you in the door is the fighting ability, the great boxing, the great fight IQ, the mentality that allowed him to beat guys like Donald Cerrone and Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. He's got a welterweight hit list a mile long. You should be glad you're not on that list. No, I don't want to get on that list. <laughs> I don't want to see the gorilla. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal Brazil, Vicente the Silent Assassin, Luke And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Liverpool, England, Darren Till. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your car. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. You get it in the octagon tonight. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice kick. Oh, nice counter jab there.
Just missed with the elbow there. Slips the punch. Still gets caught with that punch. Huge block there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression of right. his opponent. Oh, there's the head kick, it's blocked. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. Swing and a miss with that punch by Till. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Oh, Till gets hit with a kick. And he landed the right hand there. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. We expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. He's able to slip the left. Ooh, what a punch. Watch the strike there, counters with a jab. Oh, Till gets touched by that leg kick attempt. He loaded up there on that high kick. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Till gets caught with that punch. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Doing a really good job of throwing those leg kicks. Tries to work it into a takedown. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. So as we call on the numbers here, 47 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. And kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's too high, and now he's got hurt bad. Connects now with the one-two. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just the way he drew it 
up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Vicente, the silent assassin, Lupin. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.